So as you can see, I own and have reviewed a lot of tech pouches. And today we're gonna do a Bellroy Venture pouch review. I'm gonna pack this thing out, tell you the pros and cons. Stunning materials, posh, glossed finish. One more pocket, maybe two. But does it feel and look great? And if it's not the pouch for you, I'll make some alternative pouch recommendations that might better suit your needs. See you guys later. That's a lot of pouch. Okay, got it, be right back. Ugh. Let's talk about the gist of the Bellroy Venture Pouch. Pouches are great for improving your organization, and Bellroy is a company that makes great freaking bags. It's definitely a smaller pouch, only coming in at 1.5 liters, which is ideal if you need a pouch for smaller bits of gear, whether it's a bit of tech gear, hiking essentials, first aid kit. As long as there's not a lot of stuff you're looking to organize, the Venture Pouch could be a great option. Let's go over some quick top features. We got some stunning materials, both on the exterior and the interior. YKK PU coated weatherproof zippers with a very posh glossed finish. Two pockets in the front compartment, no pockets in the main compartment, just a divider, and these little loopy lash points, one on either end that are ideal for external carry. The Venture pouch currently comes in four color options. As mentioned, the size is 1.5 liters, which compared to the competition over there is definitely on the smaller side for a pouch. The dimensions are about eight inches long, five inches tall, and not a lot of depth, maybe like an inch or so. Bellroy advertises its weight as 0.23 pounds. Yeah, we're getting 0.3, but close enough. This is the pouch when it's empty, and this is the pouch when it's fully packed out. And don't worry, we're gonna fill out this pouch throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. All Bellroy products are covered by their three-year warranty against any manufacturing defects. And for all that, the Bellroy Venture Pouch uh, currently runs around 55 US dollars. And if at any point in this review, you're finding yourself thinking to yourself, I really want that pouch. And you're thinking about making a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation channel and team so we can keep making the best bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk about the outside of the Bellroy Venture Pouch. First up, materials. And it should be noted that Bellroy offers their products in lots of different color options, but different colors often equate to different materials. So for instance, I have the Night Sky version, which uses Bellroy's signature Beta Ripstop Nylon. I'm a huge fan of this material. In fact, I named it one of my favorite materials of 2023. It's robust, it's weather resistant, and it just looks and feels great. Next up is the Bellroy branding. It should be noted though that we've gotten some comments on the channel that with the way that this logo is applied, Sometimes some of the letters kind of peel off. Your Bellroy might turn into a bell row. That also means they might be able to scrape it off as well, if you dare. Moving on to the back, there's not a lot going on. There's no like hidden back compartment. We just got these two loops right here, which you might think to yourself, nice, it turns into a sling. And I guess it could. But Bellroy doesn't offer like a sling strap add-on. More just for like external carry, like if you wanna clip something to it. Well, that was fast. Let's move on and talk about the inside of the Bellroy Venture pouch. Two compartments. Let's start with the first one. I'm a big fan of the Venture series zipper pullers. Little knot right here gives you a bit of grip, makes it easier to open and to close the compartment. One thing to know about YKK PU coated zippers though is while they're of the highest quality and weather resistant, just a little bit stickier than normal zippers. In the front compartment, we have this divider, which gives you two pockets. And then for the main compartment, like I said, no internal organization, minus this divider. And on the other side of this divider is a microfiber material. A material like this is basically Bellroy saying to you, please put tech things here. Because the microfiber material is scratch resistant, tech gear and scratch resistance, they just kind of go hand in hand quite well together. Time to pack it out. Now, first things first, I wanna show you just how small this pouch is, right? So here's my Sony XMH5 headphones. They're just a typical over the head headphones, they're all kind of like the same size, right? And there's just, there's, there's, no, there's no way that's fitting, right? So again, the size of this is really important. It's a tiny guy. So I'm gonna load it up with a pen, battery, charging cable and headphones, AirPods, my tape measure, small notebook, my keys, and we're gonna see if it can also fit my Kindle, which apparently has a dead battery. Charge your Kindle, Aaron. Starting with the Kindle, we're gonna kind of utilize that back divider section. And you can see, I think it's gonna fit. It's a little bit of a tight fit. Let's see if we can zip it on close with the Kindle in there. We can, you can see we're getting a little bit of Kindle corner action happening, but I feel safe with my Kindle in there, no problemo. I'm also gonna throw a notebook on the other side of that divider. In the front, I think it's a good spot for AirPods on one side, keys on the other. Zip that on up. And then we just kind of got this empty space in the main compartment. It does have a little bit of depth to it, not a lot, but you know, you could throw some things in there, such as a charging battery. This is from Anchor. Some cables, a little tape measure, and a pen as our cherry on top, why not? Zip it on shut. Kabooyah. 
Overall, it's a minimalist pouch. Gives you a bit of organization, but overall it's meant to be an easy user experience, no fuss, that also feels and looks great. But does it feel and look great? Let's talk about the pros and the cons. Overall, pro number one, I'm always a huge fan of Bellroy's materials and aesthetic. Pro number two is the YKK PU coated zippers do offer additional protection from the elements. And pro number three is the microfiber material on the backside makes it ideal for tech gear. But no pouch is perfect, this one included. Let's talk about some cons. Con number one is just the size is gonna be really small for some of y'all out there. Con number two is it would've been cool if this could like turn into a sling if there was some sort of strap, even if it was bought as an accessory, would've been a nice little touch. And con number three, in my opinion, I think the main compartment could've used maybe one more pocket, maybe two. And just a reminder, if you've weighed the pros and the cons and you're thinking to yourself, I see no cons, I see only pros, I'm freaking getting one. We do ask that you do so with the first link in the description below. Thank you very much. But if you're not quite sold, I've got a lot of other pouches I can recommend to you. Let's talk about them. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Evergoods Cap 2. This is for you if you're kind of looking for a pouch, and you're like, oh my God, I didn't realize there's so many pouches out there. And like, I wanna know what the best one is. This is kind of usually considered to be like top tier. I have a special edition. They're not all like blinding orange in the middle, but they all have this really nifty opening system, tons of organization. And to learn more about the Evergoods Cap 2, Take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is gonna be the Air Slim Pouch. This will be great for you if you like the size of the Bellroy Venture, but you want a bit more organization. The Slim Pouch has a bit better of an opening and you can see there's a bunch of pockets located within the main compartment. Air makes some of the best bags in the world and to learn why, take a look at the description below to find a link to our full review. And alternative recommendation number three is gonna be the Bellroy Desk Caddy. Great option for you if you're loving the Bellroy vibes, but what's cool is A, we got a bit more organization in the main compartment and B, since it's a desk caddy, it means that it can stand upright, which makes it like a great caddy at your work desk. Also a pouch, but it stands upright, does a little bit of everything. It's one of my favorite products of the past few years. And to learn more about it, simply watch this video right here. If you got any questions about this pouch, that pouch, any pouch, do let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.